there's a, uh, a term that we have for when we basically recruit a member for a pedophile. It's called infection. Even though infection has negative connotation, it is a positive thing. Since all people like repetition in one form or another, it is finding that particular loop or repetitive sound that a person likes. That is when we infect someone. Well, and it's, it's not like we're actually out to infect them. Well, we are, in a way, but it's more, we're not out to recruit people. We're pedophiles recruit themselves. That's correct. It's when you find yourself infected, when you realize that, yes, infection, I mean, when repetition sticks in your brain like infection, you know, when you, when you get something in your head that you cannot get out, that's when, when you face reality that, yes, you are a repetophile, someone who likes repetition or a pedophile, uh, that's, that's all we need. Right. Realizing that you like repetition, that is the important thing. Because we all do. It's just service. It's usually you encounter a repetition on a subliminal level. The same ads play over and over again, so they're stuck in your head. The same songs play over and over again, so you want to buy them you know, on, on records when you hear them on the radio. That's a very subliminal, long scale. It's, it's long enough scale that it, that it eludes your attention span and implants itself in your brain. We're not subliminal in any way. No, we are. We're up front, straight out repetition. In your face. Um, one one discussion we had when we were first starting for kind of file out as as a group is um, well, it comes from a, a discussion we were having how some people really like licorice and really crave it, and some people really dislike it. And the same same thing is true for repetition. You either really crave it and want it. Or else you don't. And there it really are people, makes you sick. There are people, everybody's susceptible to repetition, but only some people actually like it. And those are the repetophiles. See, I, I would have to disagree with you when you say that everybody is a repetophile at some level. Not everybody is. I, I see your point, but I'd like to see what happens. I challenge all of you. Try something like we're doing here. Try a loop. Try listening to a tape over and over again. If it annoys everybody in the house, except you, what does that matter? I mean, as long as you're... For pedophile, it's about pleasing yourself through repetitive soothing sounds. Or repetitive annoying sounds. Remember this, that once a custom is done over and over again, it becomes culture. Repetition is very important to our civilization. It's just not rec readily recognized. Do it again. I am, uh, I am very hungry. I am very am, hungry. I am very hungry. I am very, very I am very hungry. I am hungry. hungry. I am very hungry. I am uh, hungry. I am very hungry. I am very hungry. I am very hungry. I am very hungry. I am hungry. I am very hungry. I'm very hungry. I am very television monitor and turn it on. Television monitor and look at that television monitor and look at that television monitor and look at that television monitor and turn on that television monitor and look at that television monitor and look at that television monitor and look at that television monitor and turn on that television monitor and look at 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 that television monitor and turn on The symbol.
symbol that we chose to represent a pedophile. I am very hungry. Or it is important to have a symbol, an icon that people can identify a pedophile with. Plus we sell t-shirts. Plus we sell t-shirts. I am very hungry. Oh, we don't sell them. We just... very hungry. Anyway. We'll make them. Yeah, we have t-shirts. Anyway. Um, we basically stole from a very popular um, symbol, the recycling symbol, but ours is inverted. The pyramid of the recycling symbol is placed up on an edge, teetering, very unbalanced, leaving someone with a feeling of insecurity about it. Which is fine. Repetophile sometimes takes from mass media, icons, sounds, and uses it for its own purpose. Sometimes in unsettling, unbalanced ways. Well, at the same time, though, the uh, it has very similar goals to to recycling, in that we are we are recycling culture. We're taking taking songs, taking obscure sound bits that you would otherwise just fall between the cracks and get discarded, or very prominent. You know, very prominent consumer items of culture that once they're sold are just going to get a waste. We're taking those and recycling them and using them to, to heighten cultural cultural awareness in the listener. <laughs> Manifesto. Say this ten times fast. Repetition is the key to meaning. Repetition is the key to music. Repetition is the key to humor. Repetition is the key to humor. Repetition is the key to music. Repetition is the key to meaning. Repetition is mean. Repetition is music. Repetition is humor. Repetition is the key to meaning. Music is the repetition of keys. Repetition is the key to humor. Repetition is meaning. Repetition is the key to meaning. Repetition is the key to music. Humor is the key to repetition. Repetition is humor. Repetition is mean. Humor is mean. Repetition is the key of music. Music is a means to an end. Repetition is the key to humor. Repetition is hum. Hum. Music is a mean key. Repetition is the key to meaning. Repetition is the key to meaning. Repetition is music. We are repetophile. I am very hungry. For your free repetophile brochure, please write and or information regarding repetophile P.O. Box 33561, Raleigh, North Carolina, 27636. Thank you. Thank you. Repetal file, 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 repetal file